Hi, this is Laura. I'd like to share a tutorial on how to set up and play the game Guess Who, which I created in PowerPoint. It can be found for sale in my Teacher Pay Teacher store. Guess Who is a fun game to help students of all ages get to know one another at the start of the school year. It's a great icebreaker and helps build a positive classroom community. The concept of this game is that boxes are randomly tapped to reveal part of a picture underneath. As the boxes are tapped, students can guess who might be under the picture. As more boxes are tapped, we begin to see who the student is underneath the picture. There are two versions of this game. One version has no numbers on the game board, and the other version has numbers on the game board. The numbers actually correspond to a worksheet that's also included with the PowerPoint. Uh, the worksheet is created in Word, so if you'd like to change the questions, just get right in there and delete what's there and put what you would like in it. The students complete these questions, and as uh, the, the numbers are tapped, a corresponding fact on this worksheet is read aloud. Um, you can tap the numbers in order or you can tap the numbers randomly. I've set up the trigger animation on this to tap when you must click on the actual box that you want to be removed rather than just the basic click in order to move on to the next um, box. So um, you and the students doing the selection have control over the order of the boxes that are revealed. Now you've got a little bit of work to do prior to playing this game. Um, once you pick whether you want the simple non-numbered version or the numbered version, what you're going to need to do is make a page, make a slide for each student that you can put the photo under. So once you've selected the game board you want to do, come up to the home ribbon go to New Slide and click on that little arrow next to New Slide and choose Duplicate Selected Slide. You're going to need one slide for every student in your class. Okay. Once you have that added to your board, um, just come to a basic page. You will need to have a photo of every student in your class. Typically, I would take pictures of all of my students on the first day of school anyway, just as they were working on some activity. But you might be able to get photographs of all of the students from your school office or from the previous year's teacher, um, if you ask. So prior to the lesson, you've got all of your photos either stored on your computer or on a flash drive connected to your computer or on a camera that's connected to your computer. Um, as long as you know where the photos are, you will be all set. So I've got my page ready. I'm going to click on the insert ribbon and choose picture. Um, here are where all of my pictures are stored and I got some generic children pictures from Microsoft. So here's a little boy. As you can see, when I dropped him in, he's obviously bigger than the group of squares. So what I'm going to do is just drag from the lower right corner. As long as you drag from a corner, it will stay in perspective. Um, and it needs to remain inside the boxes. So if it doesn't, if it's a little bit smaller, that's okay. But if you would like to, you can also crop this picture to make it fit better. Um, from the Picture Tools Format ribbon, um, up in the upper right here, you can see I've got a crop tool. So what I can do is I'm gonna just going to take a little bit off the bottom there, put my crop tool back, and now I'm going to move that in the upper left corner, drag from the lower right corner, and you can see I got it to fit just about all the space. It's not necessary to fit, totally fit all the space, as long as you've got some part of the picture under each box. You can make yourself a little crazy getting it absolutely perfect. So there we go. Okay. All right. Um, now what you need to do is send this picture behind the boxes. 
So again, from this picture tools format bar, um, up in the right corner, you can see I've got commands, bring to front, send to back. I'm going to choose the send to back. And now the picture is behind the boxes. When the, when a PowerPoint is in the regular view, um, when you're creating, the links don't work. So I can tap on these boxes all I want and it's not going to disappear. What I have to do is put this into slideshow mode in order for the animations to work. And when I do that, you can see there's a pointing finger. Um, and once I click, wherever the finger is pointing, that is the box that is set to be revealed. Okay, one thing that you can do when the picture is totally revealed um, is you can take this picture now and send it back to the front. Okay, and what I have to do in order to do that is I will have to end the show um, and, and deal with it that way. Or you can just delete the slide and that will help you keep track of whose students have had turns um, uh, because you'll be able to do this over multiple sessions. If you've got quite a few students, you probably won't be able to play the game in one sitting. And besides, it makes the perfect filler for those few minutes before lunch or the end of the day when the kids just kind of need a fun activity. So, um, thank you for listening to my tutorial. I hope that you enjoy playing Guess Who with your students this year.